Mary Magdalene is an example to us of devotion to Christ. From her we can learn what it means to be consumed with love for him. So let's think for a moment about the events on the morning of the resurrection. Not knowing who will move the stone away from the tomb, the myrrh-bearing women go anyway, trusting that God will help them. The stone may represent all kinds of obstacles and barriers in our lives. We must take from their example the assurance that God is with us, that all things are in his hands. We must have confidence that all obstacles may be overcome in faith. And as the tomb is found open, so too our hearts, which may be dark, may be places of death, so too these may be open to resurrection. Finding the tomb empty, Mary Magdalene shows the disciples that he's gone, and then they return to hiding in their room, perplexed at what has happened. But Mary remains. She stands weeping for him, unable to depart. Her perseverance is driven by her longing to be with him. And in her perseverance, she looks again into the tomb, desperate to find him. This great persistence is, St. Gregory the Great tells us, a model we must all try to imitate. He says we must search for Christ, search for him everywhere. First, let us try to find him in our church services, in our reading of the Bible and the church fathers. Search in expectation of finding him with a desperate need and longing to be with him. But even beyond these places, let us search everywhere, in every moment of our lives, in other people, in the joys and sorrows that God sends us. With every breath, let our hearts yearn for Christ. And we must imitate Mary Magdalene's patience her unwillingness to give up. There are times when God will make us wait, sometimes for a painfully long time, sometimes to the point that it seems our hearts will break if we don't find him. We may ask ourselves why God would want this from us. There's a phrase in the writings of St. Gregory where he says, Holy desires increase by delay in their fulfillment. Holy desires increase by delay in their fulfillment. Our love, our longing for Christ increases as we search for him. And a heart filled with longing for God loses its desires for worldly things. When the heart is so inflamed with love for God, it can't long for the transitory pleasures of this life. We see this borne out in the lives of many saints. Mary Magdalene's carnal desires were purged by her desire for God. Just as Zacchaeus's avarice was replaced with generosity, and Peter's denial was changed to great faith. So in the lives of saints we must search here too. There we will find Christ and there we will see how to live in order to make our hearts worthy of his presence. Finally, when Mary Magdalene meets the risen Christ, he first calls her woman and then calls her by name. He is risen for all people, but to every one of us, personally, specifically, he calls out, offers himself, and in recognizing us, he makes it possible that we may find and recognize him. <laughs>